The next effect that we have is QR code. And this is pretty cool. Uh, you can choose whatever size you'd like it to be. I'll do a three by three. And then I'm going to go ahead and type in 143 vinyl dot com here for my URL and I'm going to update the preview and click OK. So now if I take my smartphone and turn my camera on and point it at this QR code, it's going to open up 143vinyl.com in my web browser. Pretty cool. Uh, so let's go back to the QR code because you can enter all this stuff, a telephone number, an SMS, uh, plain text, geographic location, an email address, contact information, V card, me card, and biz card. So pretty cool little effect. The next effect is the rhinestone effect. So I'm going to be showing you how you can make some rhinestone creations for use with uh, HTV, like the holographic HTVs. Uh, for those of you that are going to be using physical rhinestones, this video is probably not going to be for you, but I will mention a few important things. Uh, if you are going to use like the hotfix rhinestones, first of all, uh, there's five guidelines that you want to go by. Go ahead and take a screenshot of that if you want. Um, it's important that you uh, know this stuff. And then there is a sizing chart out there for making your templates. Because if you're using a 6SS rhinestone, it you know, they vary between manufacturers, colors, and et cetera, but um, an SS6 is between uh, 1.90 and 2.00 millimeters or 2 millimeters to 2.10 millimeters. And you can't make a template at that size because your rhinestones won't fit into it. It has to be larger than the size of your rhinestone okay so here's a little chart um if you need it just let me know uh <clears throat> so let's just go ahead and dive in so here i have a filled in text and an outline now, first of all, you need to know that you have to have a vector image for this or vector, you know, text. You can't use a raster image such as a JPEG. Uh, I know this looks messy, but I'm going to show you how to fix that. Uh, let me come over here to my layers panel and turn this on and... Um, I have another text here somewhere. Let's see. I have this one. I made a copy of this. I did. I just don't know where it is. So let me go ahead and come to my text. I must have deleted it. And I will do RMC. And I will change this to the Europe underground. All right. So then I can go ahead and select both of these. I'm going to just delete them. I'm going to redo them over here. Now, the first thing, well, the second thing, the first thing is make sure you're using a vector. And the second thing is you want to size your graphic to be uh, the size 
that you're going to put it on a shirt or a project before you apply the rhinestone effect. Because if you change it, it's going to change the size of your rhinestone. It's, it's going to be different. So best case scenario, size it first. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do this at 8 inches. <clears throat> and I will do this one at 8 inches as well. All right, so when that's done, I'm going to do the outline first. I'm going to go to Effects, Rhinestones. And I'll choose my size. I think I'll do a 10. I'm going to change my stone spacing. 2 millimeters seems to be way too high. So I'll change it to uh, 0 0.50. And I'm going to adjust the spacing to fit the path. I'm going to choose a round rhinestone. <clears throat> you have other options here. But I'm going to choose the round and hit preview. And that looks pretty good. I don't like this M, but I think it's just uh, the font itself. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And then for this one, Effects, Rhinestones, <clears throat> I'm going to choose a little bit bigger. I'll go with the SS16. Again, I'm going to change the spacing to 0 0.50 and choose round. And this time I'm going to fill the shape with the stones. And I'm going to click Preview. Now, this is, tells me right here how many stones I'm going to need for this project. Okay, that info, info is there as well. So, this looks a little messy. Uh, so, let me go ahead and try to turn the spacing up just a little bit. See if that fixes any of it. And it kind of did. Uh, I'm not liking the M. But I'm going to leave it because I want to show you how to edit some stuff. I don't like the M on this one either, but I'm going to just leave it. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here a little bit. And so I seem to have an extra row right here. And these three right here don't need to be there. And, you know, there's some other stuff. This is too close. This probably is a little bit too close. So the first thing I need to do is select it and go to Object, Break Apart. And what that does, if I come over to my Layers panel and I open up this folder, every single one of those circles is on its own layer. Okay, so I can edit them. I can choose this one and delete it. I can do whatever I want. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab all of these and I'm going to come over to my position and size and I'm going to nudge them over a little bit and then I'm going to do the same thing with the C's or C. There's only one there. All right. Uh, I don't think that was enough spacing for this. I'd like it to be a little bit further apart. All right. So then we seem to have three extra, let me go ahead and zoom in some more here. These three seem to be extra. There's not those three there. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and hit delete on the keyboard, that one and that one as well. And then I have two rows here, but only one here. So I'm going to go ahead and select all of those and delete those two and this row seems to be extra so I'm going to go ahead and delete that row and that gives me a nice point here and let's zoom back out and see that looks better uh there's you know this isn't correct either visually to me it's not uh Not sure what to do about that. If I add a stone here, well, let's go ahead and do that. Let me zoom in a little bit more. And I will select that, hold Alt, 
and left click on it to make another rhinestone. All right, then what I'm going to do is select this whole row and I'm going to make sure that they are aligned either top or bottom. Oops, I have it to page, it needs to be selection. Align them to the bottom and then I'm going to come over to um, object distribute distribute to selection object distribute horizontal space or distribute space horizontally and that spread them out evenly from this rhinestone to this rhinestone so let's zoom out and see what that looks like now that looks a lot better to me uh, than what it did so that's a little bit of editing uh, showing you the um well i have to have something selected oh after you're done editing by the way you want to group this back so you don't accidentally move a, a rhinestone somewhere along the way and then you come back to it and you're like where's that rhinestone so yeah make sure you group it back uh if i select this and come back to the rhinestones Let's see if I missed anything. Your stone size is dependent on what size stone you choose here. Your spacing, again, two millimeters is too much to me. Um, fill the shape if you want it filled. Adjust spacing to fit the path if you just want it uh, fit here. And I will go ahead and show you. Let me start a new page here. I'll import a SVG file here. I know which one I want because I have already, oops, wrong folder. I've already checked it out. I want this little B here. All right, so if I go to my cut lines, I have cut lines, it is a vector. Okay, I can go to Effects, Rhinestones, and I will choose an SS10. And I just want it to follow the path. I don't want it to fill all of this in. I'll choose the round and I'll preview that. And my spacing, see, it's way too much. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to zero. 0 0.50 and preview that and that looks better now there's some editing as well that needs to be done on this but you can do that right just uh, go to object break apart and then I can select the ones that I don't want and I can delete them and I would probably select all of these I'd probably let's see delete this one and delete this one and then I would select mm, all of these let me zoom in here select select I deleted them didn't I <laughs> sorry about that select I was holding the wrong button shift select 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 it did not select that whole row even though it put the box around it 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 only selected the first one and the last one and now I can move this down here and make it look a little better all right and then there's a few over here that need to be deleted I really don't have to go through all of this but I just I want to show you the finished project I'm going to actually take this one and Put him over here and there's probably a missing one here but I could always duplicate it and put one here and click on it hold up click on it again I didn't do that down there okay so that looks better right so any vector 
Have fun with the rhinestone effect.